okay, these guys have done a great job. They're about to lose it. You know, they've had it with this video. But you're there, okay? You're there. Okay, now. What is the change in kinetic energy total? Well, we know that this is going to be zero, right? The kinetic energy, oh, you can't see up there, can you? Let me see. Excuse me. What is the change in kinetic energy, this kinetic energy here? Let's rewrite that. Let's re redraw that, okay? Okay, now, here I have, here, the kinetic energy equals zero, correct? So that's the final, right? Yeah. So, it's going to be the change in kinetic energy is going to equal the kinetic energy final minus the kinetic energy initial, right? So what's the total initial kinetic energy that I started with? Total, 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 total. In other words, when I, when I started, I wasted a lot of energy, but what's the total energy that was used. Isn't it going to be? Is it going to be the force that I used? That I used? Yes. That I used? So isn't it going to be this 200 newton force? Correct. Up 100 meters. Yes. And what's the total kinetic energy that I started with then? What's the total kinetic energy I started with? Isn't it, isn't it right here, 20,000 joules? So what's the total change of kinetic energy? What's the total change of kinetic energy? What's the total change of kinetic energy? So this is going to be kinetic energy total. What's that going to equal? What's the total kinetic energy change? What's the total kinetic energy change? 19,000. No, the total change. What did, I, what did I start with? Now, we, all, we know only 500 joules of this went into the whole thing, right? Yeah. Right? Isn't that true? Yes? Well, what, what, what was the total change of kinetic energy. What, is, what kinetic energy must I have started with in order to get it up there? 20,000 joules, right? Yeah. Right? So it'll be negative 20,000 joules, right? Correct? You see that? Now, what is the kinetic energy change Usable. What is, it, what is it usable? 500 joules. That's the usable. Right? Correct? Yeah. Yes? Yes? All right, now, what is the change in potential energy? Uh, positive 20,000? No. No, because I didn't. Did all of that go into potential energy? No, I lost a lot of it. It was gonzo, gone. But what was the change in potential energy? In other words, how much potential energy did this skier have at the top of the hill? Isn't it going to be right here? Can I erase this? Can I erase this here? Can I erase that? Yeah? Isn't that going to be force times distance? Is it? So what is what is FO six hundred times twenty one? Right? Isn't this isn't DO twenty one meters? Isn't it? Well, well, it's twelve thousand six hundred. Twelve thousand plus or minus. Uh, plus. 
plus. Because it has that. It was given that. So it's going to be plus 12,600, right? You see how that equals the work? Output is the same thing. You see how, you see how the, ideal, the ideal work is what? What's the ideal work? What's the ideal work? What's the ideal work? Uh, 12,600, 12, 12, right? Right? You see that? That's the ideal work. That's what it should have been. But I had that. I had that. That's what I started with. Right? So what was the net work? What was the net work? 500 joules. 500 joules. Right, exactly. 500 joules. Right? A very complicated problem. Those of you at home, I would suggest going over this video and asking me tomorrow, coming in with questions. I'll give you another problem tomorrow. Different. Okay, this is part D. I want to just finish up. I want to do some accounting for the energy. Okay, the, the real, the WI, the real WI will be negative, will be, uh, sorry, equal to, it's equal to 20,000 joules. The work down, work down will be FP times 100 or 12,500 joules. The work due to friction will be 7,000 joules. We've done that. That's very rounded, okay? You're going to want to work to tenths place in the future so that we don't have as much round off error. The net's going to be 500 joules. In other words, in other words, remember, the net force was 5 newtons up the hill. It was a positive 5, so I knew it was going up the hill. 5 times 100, 500, so that's the net force. The, I'm sorry, the net work, the net work. The ideal is going to be equal to the, the ideal work is going to be equal to the output work. The output work is going to be 21 times 600, or 12,600, and that'll be the, the output work and the work input ideal. Now, the, the change in kinetic energy total, the change in kinetic energy total, 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 will be... That's zero, right? That's zero, okay? That's going to be zero. Kinetic energy equals zero, and that's final, right? So the kinetic energy final will be zero. So it'll be zero minus whatever I started with. And in order to get there, in order to burn all this stuff up, I had to start with 20,000 joules. So otherwise, I would never have gotten up to the top. I had to overcome friction. I had to come over, I had to overcome the downward pull of the the skier, uh, the natural tendency to want to roll back down or slides down the slope. So I needed 20,000. So it's 20,000. It's negative 20,000. Now, this is key. What is the change in kinetic energy for the usable kinetic energy? The usable kinetic energy. In other words, what amount of kinetic energy actually went into mechanical, was converted to mechanical energy? What amount was actually doing mechanical work, actually doing, actually converting it to, actually converting it to usable energy. Well, that'll be, that'll be the net. That'll be the net. So it'll be 500 minus, I'm sorry, zero minus 500. So it'll be negative. So delta Ke usable is going to equal negative 500 joules. Now, in the future, when doing these problems, work to tenths place. Work to tenths place, OK? Uh, take care. I hope you uh, do well. We'll review again tomorrow. And um, take care. <laughs>